Hey guys, we are doing a revamp of a video that I did five years ago. It's my most viewed video on my channel and it is how to eat a girl out like a pro. This is going to be the follow up part two. I also have a ton of other vagina centered videos if you wanna just get some confidence, if you wanna talk like birth control and protection, I'll link all those down below. But let's jump into it, shall we? Okay, so I'm gonna get into like two main parts and then we're gonna speed round some do's and don'ts. And please, please, just to help everybody out there who's gonna go out and eat a vagina, leave your own do's and don'ts in the comments down below. Extra advice for free. Go check it out down below, okay. First thing is that eating out a vagina can be used as foreplay or the main event. It doesn't matter. But whatever this is being used as, Please don't go into it like having a time limit in your head or rushing and just trying to get this part over with so you can either stick something into something or it's your turn to get eaten out. Like it's just, it's rude. I would say going in with the expectation that this is just gonna take as long as it takes until your partner is really ready for whatever's coming next or they come all over your face. Rushing really ruins it. Like if you're literally just gonna go down there and flick our clit for 30 seconds, I personally would rather you just not do it at all. At that point, like why bother moving the distance down the body and then getting me excited that this is gonna be like a long thing. And I'm not even a huge fan of getting eaten out, but honestly, a lot of that's because like people just don't take the allocated necessary time to do it because it takes a second to warm us up, you know? Like it takes a minute to get into the right rhythm and then it takes a minute to relax and to not be in your head because that's a very normal thing to have happen as a vagina owner is to just be sitting there and be like, like, does it smell weird? Did I clean this properly? Like, uh, does he like it? Does she like it? Are they having a good time there? Like, you have to take a second to enjoy it, get out the insecurities, get in your head, relax, and then you actually start to feel good. So if you're gonna just take 30 seconds down there, don't even bother doing it. You also can't find the good rhythm, right? Like the first thing that you try isn't necessarily gonna be the thing that you're doing for the whole time that you're down there and that's gonna make us scream in pleasure, you know? So again, if you're down there rushing it, you're not really gonna do a whole lot of anything. A lot of the times I find when people have rushed things like this on me, it just means like either flicking my clit really hard with your tongue or like kind of doing long strokes and just like going back and forth on my clit. And like, I don't know if this has been presented to you, but the clit is very sensitive. <laughs> so at that point, it's just like creating my involuntary lower body twitches, which you probably take as like, oh, she's loving it, but I'm taking as like, Ow, why is he hurting me like this? But before we actually get into the whole journey of it, just please wait, okay? Don't touch the vagina, please. Don't touch it yet, all right? You have to preheat the oven. Yes, in this metaphor, women are ovens or cookies. I don't know, we'll decide as we go through the metaphor. But you don't put cookies in a cold oven, right? You preheat the oven so that they bake evenly and they come out properly. I think in that metaphor that we are actually the oven and like sex is the cookies, right? Yes. So this means before you get to our vaginas and you're just pulling at it like in here, I can get in here now, right? Stop, kiss us, look into our eyes. Tell us you're gonna make us scream because we're not gonna be able to handle the amount of pleasure you're gonna give us. But also don't talk yourself up and then go down on us for 30 seconds and then be like, right? <laughs> was I right? <laughs> Cause you weren't. No, it was disappointing for sure. But seriously, if we're already in the mood, if we're already a little bit wet down there and we're getting horny, because if I'm not in the mood yet, but you're in the mood, you can totally get me in the mood. I just need like a nice long makeout session. I need to feel like you grinding up against me. I need to feel that you're like, you want this. And that can make me want this. But I need like five, 10 minutes of just like pre foreplay to catch up to your mood. Okay, let's get into some speed round do's and don'ts. A lot of these are pretty self-explanatory, but I'll get into them very surface level. And uh, if you want like a, just a full video of do's and don'ts, or maybe getting more into technique, <laughs> let me know, because I will do a follow-up sooner than five years from now. Don't, this was mentioned in the original video, which I will link down below. Don't give us rug burn. How dare you? 
with your shaky little stubble, rubbing your chin on our thighs, and then making us wake up two days later with a new fun rash. It's offensive and we hate it. So either don't have that kind of facial hair or don't rub your chin in our vagina. Don't become a lizard. This does nothing. I don't know why people do that. I've had that happen and I was upset. Don't do the alphabet. I mean, I don't know who came up with this. I understand that it's like something easy to explain to somebody when they're first like getting into eating people out, but like it doesn't, it doesn't do anything. And a lot of us, we can tell, especially if you're doing really like pronounced letters. We're like, oh, they're on D, cool. Don't just rely on your tongue because like leaving out the fingers leaves out 50% of the pleasure that we could be getting. While you're up here focusing on our clit with your tongue, softly, gently, not rough, you could also be down here with your fingers hitting our G-spot, you know? This, this is a good one. We need to all memorize this motion, right? It's good, yes. Do that, practice that. Strengthen these fingers so they can go for a marathon, okay? Do, oh God, please do pay attention to our body and our noises. If you're doing something that we like, a lot of the times I will clench my thighs on your head and make it so you might suffocate or I'll pull your hair. If you're doing something that we don't like, sometimes we can also do this so I understand the mixed signals, just to kind of give you a little bit of extra confidence so you switch it up, which really doesn't help us and we should stop doing that. But honestly, if you do this enough times, you can kind of figure out our whole body language thing. And then pay attention to our sounds. And also just like from time to time, even though I hate when I look down and you're glancing up at me, but like you can gain a lot of information from what my face is doing. If I'm doing this, it's good. If I'm doing like this, do something else. Do talk to us. Not in a, how was your day, babe? <laughs> also, maybe don't make that noise, but in a like, in a way that can keep us connected, keep the energy high and the tension high, but also can give you direction if you feel like you need it. So I'm saying things like, do you like that baby? While you're fingering us, or you're looking up and checking in, or oh my God, you're so wet, or oh, you taste so good. Things like that not only help us relax and can get us out of our head if we're sitting here like, oh my god, like do I taste weird, do I smell weird, blah, blah, blah. and us relaxing, we can actually focus on the pleasure that you're giving us and it can shorten the time that you're down there. Although like, I really, I don't want you guys to go into this thinking that it's a job. It's enjoyable. You're giving your partner a lot of pleasure and that should be a lot of the payoff here too. But definitely do talk to us. Not too much, not to the point where it's like, okay, you get me warmed up and then you have a freaking paragraph, like just little things. Do be consistent when we're about to come. This is not the time for a finishing move, all right? Unless you've tried the finishing move and it's like an outrageous success. This isn't the time to try something new. If we're clenching and we're moaning and we're telling you we're about to come, keep fucking doing what has gotten us to this point. I don't know why people are like, oh my God, she loves it. Time to do something else. Would you do that? If you were like in math class and you're like, I've been adding up these numbers correctly. Time to do it wrong. Like, no, do it right. Keep doing what you're doing, okay? You're doing a good job. You're doing great. Keep fucking doing great. Don't start sucking now. This is kind of a, uh, <laughs> because I've been watching Sex in the City for the fourth time. Uh, wipe your face if necessary. I have literally no problem making out with you and shoving my whole entire tongue down your throat after you've eaten me out. It's kind of hot. That being said, I don't want a gallon of my own juices on your face when that's happening. So just do like a really subtle, like you're down here, like, oh, oh. You know what's actually hot that happened one time? Somebody wiped off their face and then licked their fingers and they were like, God, you taste so good. Do that. That is it. Hopefully this was helpful. I do see a follow-up coming where we get more into like actual techniques. Your mouth is here, your fingers are here. This is what your mouth is doing. This is what your fingers are doing. And of course it's different for everybody and some people like certain patterns and some people like consistency and some people want you to change it up constantly and that's totally fine, but not changing it up right when we're about to come. I swear to God, if you get anything from this video, it's that. Don't stop doing what you're doing that got us to this point.
And again, leave your tips down below. I am so excited to read through these. I always love doing these videos and just like hearing your guys' feedback in the comments. So leave those down there. Let me know what other girl talks you want to see coming up very soon. I love you so much. I will see you in a couple days with a brand new video. Bye guys.